so I'm gonna bring you on a very impromptu lesson today, basically because I'm learning myself. So let's just learn this together. So I've been road cycling for a few months now and I've been using sneakers, which is a very noob thing to do. Okay, so basically most road cyclists use clips. That's the thing that you attach to the bottom of your shoe and it goes into the clipless pedal that you attach onto your bike. So this makes you one with your bike, which is kind of cool because it makes your movement more efficient. You are truly one with the bike. So even your up pedal um, is, gives you power, not just your down pedal. The scary thing about it is that you are one with the bike. So let's say you're clipped in. Oops. If you're clipped in on your right foot, and for some reason you happen to lean to the right, you're gonna fall. I mean, that's the, the honest truth because you probably will not be able to clip out in time. So, that's not so fun and that's why I put off learning this but um, you know what Specialized gave me these awesome shoes and I think it's time. So let's go through a few things right. So I'm using the look pedals. So these are a bit more sleek than the Shimano ones and most of my friends who cycle seem to prefer these I think more for an aesthetic point of view rather than anything else. Uh, I think it's a personal preference but there's no Shimano they do the same thing and basically to have peaks your cleats will be attached to your shoe and that will go into your pedal. Right, so this is a clipless pedal and you slip your cleat into this, you kind of click it in and that's it, you're good to go. Okay, so I think one tip that I learned from beginner cyclist friends is that they make it really loose so you can actually adjust the tension on the pedal. So I would say for a lot of pros, they want to keep it really tight but for noobs, you want to keep it nice and loose just as you're learning so it's easier to clip out. First time I clipped into cleats on a spin bike, I thought my ankle was about to drop off because it's like an outward motion and so for me, I prefer to have the tension loose especially at the start. So I put it really loose and we're going to try just to clip in on the right side first and to learn how to get enough speed with the up stroke so that um, when you're on the road, you have enough speed and enough tapping to clip in your left foot. So let's do that first. Okay, so the first step across is to mount the bike as you normally would. Right, and so we're going to clip in on the right side simply because in Singapore, uh, cyclists, we ride on the slowest lane which means traffic always comes in on the right side. So you want to have this leg clipped in and that leg stable. So if you if you happen to lean, you're leaning on this side. If you happen to fall, you lean on this side as well. Okay, so when you're going to clip in, you don't want to be clipping in at a high angle, right? So move your pedal backwards until it's a good low angle, so it's more stable. And when you clip in, it's a slide and then a step in. So, slide in and step. Easy. Okay, so now that we've clipped in, the next level is to gain enough speed with your right foot without clipping in the left foot. Alright, so we're going to move it up. And if you need more speed, you can always lift your right foot up a bit more to pedal down again. Don't panic, speed is your friend. The speed will give you the stability that you need. So if you need more speed, remember lift your foot up and pedal down. Remember to lift it up enough. Right, so that's level one done, and that's learning to move off with enough speed on the right foot. So level two, we're gonna practice clipping in and out using the left foot because this is the foot that is we're gonna do, be doing most of the clipping in and clipping out. So find yourself a wall because you're gonna wanna lean against it. Right, so let's clip in our right foot. Now hold on to your brakes. Okay, let's let's move it back. Let's move it so that your right foot is straight down to the ground. Okay, now. We're going to lean against that wall. Lean. Right. And then practice clipping in your left foot. Again, it's a slide and then a step. Slide and step. So we're in. And just practice going in and then landing on this foot. Because you have to get used to leaning on your left. It is not a good idea to lean on your right if your right foot is slipped in. Alright, so let's do it again. Find the pedal. Slide it in. Clip. Done. Clip out. And do this like a like hundred times or something just so you build that muscle memory. Look. Okay, so there's a reason why I said to make sure your right foot is straight. Because that is the most, when your right foot is straight, your left foot will be up here. And that's the most stable position to clip out at. 
Let me show you, okay? So what we've been practicing, right foot straight, left foot clicked in. And then clipping out when the left foot is high up there, right, it's here. So we're going to clip out. Now let's try it the other way, which is a lot less stable, okay? So that's when. Let's clip in here. And I'm going to pedal backwards. Right, so we're going to clip out when the left foot is at the bottom. Sorry, sorry. The fly. your left foot at the bottom. It is a lot less stable and that's because you see with your right foot like that, the weight here is not stable at all as compared to when your weight is like that. Alright, so top tip, make sure most of the weight is on your right foot and then your right foot is almost straight. Let's move on to level 3. Okay, so step 3, we're going to put it all together. So first, clip in on the right foot. Get enough speed as we did in level 1, right? And then, at this point, you're going to be gliding. Look down, make sure your pedal is facing the correct way up. If you are confident at this point, you can use your uh, left foot, slide it to step in and you're done. But I'm telling you for a beginner, true story, probably you will be a little bit panicky. So at this point, don't panic. Use your right foot to gain speed again. Push down, gain speed again. Look down at your pedal, slide it in, step it, and you're good to go. We're going to try doing that. And there you have it. So it took me roughly one and a half hours to get all that uh, to the point where I feel like I'm confident to try my cleats out on the road. Make sure you keep practicing, remember all the tips. The two top tips, speed is your friend, right? So the more speed you have, the more stable you are. Second tip is do not panic. Because when you panic, like the thought process goes out the window. But if you don't panic, you stay calm, follow the steps, you'll be fine. Please give this a thumbs up if you liked it bit of like and I will see you soon on the road hopefully. Bye! Okay, I'm waiting for Mel and I just wanted to say that today is the day I finally turn my cleats up on the road. survived my first time on cleats without a fall. But actually clipping out wasn't the problem. Mostly clipping out was fine. It was the clipping in that was sometimes a bit dicey but uh, try not to panic and just took my time and I clipped in when I clipped in. So.